What's up guys, welcome back to HMHT. My name is Ben, your host of course, and today Apple has released another watchOS update. And the one that we're talking about today is watchOS 7.6 beta one now at the time i'm recording this video this is available to developers and to public beta testers and regardless of the profile you have you can update to watch away 7.6 beta one should you wish to now as you can see here for me on my apple watch series 6 this update came in at exactly 146 megabytes and I was updating from watchOS 7.5 release candidate. But obviously, this is not all that Apple released today. If we go to see the other updates, this is the Apple uh, developer beta website. You can see the profiles that were released or other updates that came out today. We have macOS Pixel 11.5 beta 1. And we also have iOS 14.7 as well as iPadOS 14.7 beta 1. And obviously, watchOS 7.6 beta 1. This is the video for that. And the last update that came out is tvOS 14.7 beta 1. All these updates came out today. And let's go ahead and see the software changes that came with this update. So if we go into settings, go to general, and then go to the about this watch section, you can see the new build number that we have. And it's 18U. 5523d so this build number has a d at the end and in terms of stability i'm pretty sure you know what that means this means no go it's highly unstable and unless you are experimenting like me or installing it on a backup device then that's when you would want to install a first generation beta of any software releases that apple brings out so highly unstable that's the build number that we have in terms of new features and changes that came to this watchOS update the first one that I would like to mention has to do with the home app so if you have a home port device connected to your home app this update allows you to set timers in the home app if you have one before you sort of had to do it through Siri and that's how you'd be able yes. to do it but this time around this update allows that also the other thing that i would like to mention that came with this update has to do with some news that apple announced today in their newsroom so let's go ahead and go into newsroom you can see that today apple previewed powerful software updates designed for people with disabilities some of them are coming as early as may 20 for apple devices such as the iphone apple watch and the macbook right so as you can see here this is going to be one of them where it allows you to sign in to apple support using sign time session so you can see there that it says you can connect with an asl interpreter i believe it's an apple sign language interpreter and if you speak sign language you can actually be able to connect with apple support or even the apple store if you use sign language that's good accessibility so that's one of them and obviously we have assistive touch for the apple watch now this one came in the form of a video so let me just turn down the volume so assistive touch on the apple watch and you can actually access this by clinching or pinching so if you clinch you can be able to make movements on your apple watch right you see some of the movements that you can do and you can clinch back to move either activate it or deactivate it you also get quick actions such as when you receive a call you can clinch to answer the call and that is convenient because you don't even have to touch your watch you also get complex navigation where you clinch and then options pop up on your device that allow you to control your device again without touching it so you can be able to switch screens by moving your wrist up and down and also you get motion pointers so you see that's how you basically get like the motion so it's some sort of cursor that comes on the apple watch and the way you access this accessibility when it comes out is mainly by just shaking your wrist like this and then you get the motion pointer so that is something that's good especially for those that are disabled or for people that 
do want to use the apple watch without having to touch it so that's something that's coming and then also other accessibilities that are going to be coming to other apple devices such as the ipad we have eye tracking support for the ipad we have more voice over support and accessibility that are going to be coming as well as image explore so in accessibility you'll be able to use your voice to explore different facets of an image and then hearing aids and audiogram supports you'll be able to see such data more health information again coming to apple devices and if we go here you can see background sounds or updates to background sound sounds that are going to be coming in order to make them less disruptive so that's also another update and then additional features coming later this year we have sound action for switching control display and text size settings and also we have new emoji customization which better represent users with oxygen tubes implants and so on so you can see like this emoji has a hearing aid and then you have this one which has a helmet so more memojis are going to be coming to allow you to customize them and if you have an apple watch then perhaps when you go to your watch faces and select the watch face that has a memoji like this one and for example you have a hearing aid right you'll be able to select that memoji and you actually be able to see oh on the ear that is what's there right so that's something good it's good to see that apple is catering for everyone and it does not end it you can see that the shortcuts for accessibility gallery is going to be updated as well as the apple store has some new features for certain devices and we get updates to apple books and apple maps so all these accessibilities are going to be catering for uh, most apple devices and a lot also when it comes to fitness they are going to be updated so i can't wait for all these accessibilities to come here and then we can fully show you around how you're going to basically go into your settings look for accessibility right here and be able to interact with the different accessibilities that apple is going to be adding so for the apple watch i feel like the ones that are you are going to see or the major ones that you're going to be seeing are the ones with the new memojis that allow you to set memojis with special characters like implants or oxygen tubes and also something that i would like to touch on a little bit has to do with uh, the apple watch series 7 which we now have information that is most probably going to come with flat design and more colors like a green one so i can't wait for that to be coming out and other than that that's how this watch away 7.6 7.6 beta one came in for me on my apple watch series 6 in case you're curious let's see uh the battery so if i go to the battery section here i actually updated when i was downloading the update it reached all the way to 100 and you can see that that was about one hour ago and in about that one hour i used about four percent if we go to see the battery health you can see that it's on 95 percent and on watch away 7.5 rc it was on 95 percent so no change in that aspect in case of when watch away 7.5 could be released you can see that today is may the 19th i actually didn't think that apple was going to release watch away 7.6 today but since they did i was sort of hopeful that watch away 7.5 will be released on the 20th or on the 21st but now since we have this update that could mean that perhaps watch away 7.5 could be coming in the week of the 24th to the 28th now that's kind of uh, unfortunate and time will be able to tell now since wwdc is about almost two and a half weeks away then that's going to be on june 7 to 11 i most probably think that when it comes to watch away 7.6 maybe apple will move on to weekly release cycles in order to try and beat that but we'll be able to see and cover it for you here on the channel when that comes out now other than that that's about it for me guys if you like this video please leave a like down below and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video very soon